Wow. Just that I was half a tank of gas to get into Friday. <laughs> <laughs> you make more money now. Yeah, but than you did before. But, yeah, but look, he's wearing polo. He's a <laughs> <laughs> It looked no, good. It oh, was, look good on side yeah. of the road. No, it was to pay off that loan. <laughs> okay. That you need, loan. If you, and then I, it wasn't smart to go to Houston and see my dad, but my mom said she would help out with gas. If so. you need any tips on running out of gas or things to do when you run out of gas, let me know. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I just do you actually have that. that gas tank full yet? Do, do you have it? He wants you to fill up. Oh, a gas can? If you can fill one up for me. A and gas bring it can? To work. Okay, yeah, gas Justin, can. How, how's this? <laughs> I actually have 10 miles left of gas yes. my light's been on and i was gonna go as soon as i leave here today uh -huh. so if you follow me i will get you gas really Aww. oh my god yes yes no please, no no please. up to up to how much though? i don't because my truck was like 90 bucks <laughs> right yeah 20 dollars <laughs> it was well, no i have half of it filled up already so if you yeah could just, i'll top you, just... you i'll fill up yes half I'll half. oh my god oh my god oh let's see that's so that's so much. sweet now You're can so you drive her you. can you drive and you got to drive her to work every day this week. I don't no, mind that either. No. I don't mind. But you got to drive me to the movie premiere. I'm going to take oh, you to. Oh, okay. Yes, definitely. And rub my shoulders. Okay. I will. Uh, okay. Of course. Yes. What definitely. you just witnessed was Jenna being very nice to part-time Justin here on Kid Nation I Extra. I anyway. It just seems, I mean, that's sad. That's because Jenna found the one. So. I did. <laughs> She's so a very happy. I did. I, I've noticed I've been in an extremely happy mood just because I'm of Mexico so, won. Oh, I thought you were going to say because I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. And you too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Mexico winning put you in a good mood. Yeah, happy. I was I was saying hi to everybody. All right. I like I it makes me so happy. I played golf yesterday morning. I went home and I watched golf and Man. World Cup. That's yeah, a lot of golf. And you're happy. I'm so happy. So happy. I love those sports. Yeah. Good job on Cristiano Ronaldo. What about it? He did a great job. He got a hat trick. I know. About a week ago. Yeah. Oh. Welcome to Friday. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> and David Beckham, oh man, he was great. He hasn't played in like 20 years. I know, but he was still great. Did yeah. he bend it? He, did, he could bend it. There was some bending going on this weekend. Yeah. The World Cup, the mm. shots going on. But uh, we brought in part-time Justin because during the show, part-time Justin told us that he became the first person in the office to win at HQ Trivia. Uh -huh. None of us, Ooh. many of us tried. None of us were successful. And he was the first one. And he, How much did you win? A dollar and 50 cents. What? what? Yeah. Because like 300 people won with him. And if you're wondering if that's the lowest amount anybody's ever won, somebody from Kid Nation texted us and said, hey, guys, I won HQ Trivia too, but I only got 16 cents. Mm. But hey, I won. Sure did. And that's all that matters. Uh -huh. well, that's enough to get Justin a Kit Kat. kind of won, um, well, there's an asterisk, because he was getting some help from yeah. his relatives. Teamwork it was a dream workout, right? Look. Thank you. Did, does he have a win notch under his HQ Trivia name? Yes. Sure so he's, Right. So he's a winner. So technically he did win. Yeah, okay. like if like if I had a, a professional gamer play on my Fortnite account and get a bunch of wins, those are my wins because they're under my name. <laughs> you know what sure I'm saying? Sure are. But we were wondering how difficult this quiz was. Yes. Because... You have all the questions now. I do. Yes. Awesome. Part-time Justin found him. How'd you find him, by the way? If you uh, Russ actually found him. I don't know how to Google anything. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I don't know how to... But you won HQ. I yeah. sure did. <laughs> Russ will find anything if you ask him. Like He's yeah. actually pretty good about that. All and right. I think HQ Trivia, they do release the questions somehow, or somebody jots them of down. Course, somebody does so. it. All right, so we can play along. Okay, this is the first question. All right. Are we what? just going to write them down after you give us oh. the multiple choice, and then we'll see who on the, on the show would win? Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah, we'll do that. All right. So let's not tip each other off. Okay. Let's see who would be HQ champ here. Okay, which is a real month of the year? Septuary, Julember, or August? Okay. Which is a real month of the year? Okay. Septuary, Julember, August. Okay. okay. A, ding. A, B, or okay. C. Ding. ding. All right. Question two. Pimento peppers are often found inside which of these things? Birdhouses, olives, or snow globes? Okay. Pimento peppers. All right. Ding. Are normally found what? Ding. ding. Are, are found inside of which of these things? Birdhouses, olives, or snow globes? Oh, okay. we think we're so smart now. <laughs> See, the easy questions sometimes trick me because I'm like, are they being super tricky? Those are two questions asked. We have 10 more. All right. Before acquiring a driver's license, new drivers typically have to get a what? A learner's permit, jury summons, or property deeds? Before acquiring a driver's license, new drivers typically need to get a what? Learner's permit, jury summons, or property deeds? Ding. Ding. Yes. Okay. okay. What term refers to an all-purpose key that can open any lock? Oh, I already know. Vampire key, zombie key, skeleton key. Ding. Ding. Oh. Ding, 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 ding. What phrase completes Edwin Starr's classic rock lyric, war, what is it good for? Oh, yeah, I know this. Which phrase com 
completes Edwin Starr's classic rock lyric, War, What Is It Good For? Totally nobody, absolutely nothing, no clear purpose. Okay. Okay. Got it, dang. War. Oh. What is it good for? Mm, 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 mm. I think we all know. <laughs> okay. Well, mm-hmm. these, let's be honest. These are, these these are, these are, are super are, easy. So, so far, far, they're easy. These are softball. Okay, what's next? Which author's name is not a pseudonym? Charles Dickens, Lewis Carroll, George Orwell. Did you speak too soon, Kelly? I know that one. I'm putting down ding. Oh, what man. I think Ooh. Ooh. Say it again. <laughs> Which one is not a pseudonym? Which is not a no, pseudonym. No, I didn't speak too soon because up to that point, they were easy. So yeah. I did not. You're right. You're right. What were the three ooh, options ooh, ooh. again? Charles Dickens, Lewis Carroll, or George Orwell. Okay. Mm. If I read, this would have been yeah. easy. Mm. Mm, that was... One more. Do you want the question one more time? No. No. Go. We got a ding? Okay. Yep. Ding, yeah, ding. ding it. Which of these temperatures is warmest? Zero degrees Celsius, zero degrees Fahrenheit, zero Kelvin. Oh, oh dang. Science. Which of these temperatures is the warmest? Zero degrees Celsius, zero degrees Fahrenheit, zero Kelvin. I dang, but I don't know. I'm just going to ding. I'm <laughs> going gonna, I'm gonna to guess ding, ding. Ding. All right. Number eight. Who compiled what is considered the first modern thesaurus? Who compiled it? Yes. Noah Webster, Peter Roggett, Roggett, Roggett. Oh, good. Roggett. Or John Barlett. Again, uh, I don't know who did the thesaurus. Noah Webster, Peter Rogett, or John Bartlett. Bartlett. I know, one, I know one of his names. I can't think of the other one. <laughs> oh, <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Ding, I guess. Ding. Okay. Which university's flagship campus is located in Philadelphia? Which university's flagship campus is located in Philadelphia? Penn State, Carnegie Mellon, or UPenn? Which <sighs> university's flagship campus is located in Philadelphia? Penn State, Carnegie Mellon, or UPenn? I know that one of them is not. What's a flagship campus? The like the main. The main. Uh, the OG, bro. Okay. Burnt I'm guessing. Thing. I don't know. Yep. Ow. What words are traditionally printed in a large type at the bottom of an Ouija board? Ooh. <laughs> O- Ouija board. Ouija. I've never played with a Ouija board. <laughs> the devil. No. You never did it back in middle school no. to see if your crush liked you? No. Oh, the Kelly. Devil. Oh, that I've done great. it. It's scary. All right. Uh, what are the answers? The answers are goodbye, light, dark, or listen well. Words found at the bottom of an Ouija board. Oh. The word goodbye, light, dark, listen well. Mm. Like okay. okay. Ding. Ding. Okay. Devin. Johnny Cash's only top 10 single on the Billboard Hot 100 was written by the author of what book? The Godfather, The Giving Tree, The Right Stuff. Johnny Cash's only top 10 single on the Billboard Hot 100 was written by the author of what book? Hmm. The Godfather, The Giving Tree, The Right Stuff. Uh, dang. I'm guessing a lot right now. Yep. You know, okay. Sometimes you, you can still win by guessing if you're guessing right. Yeah. Speaking of The Godfather, did you know that in Nicki Minaj's rap, Chun Li, when she goes, uh, oh, you made me out to be the bad guy. Well, this is the last time you're going to see a bad guy do the rap game like me. That was, that was, uh, uh, The Godfather? The Godfather yeah. saying, you make me out to be the bad guy. I didn't know that. <laughs> the natural feature that forms the uh, Vermont, New Hampshire border is named for what other state? Massachusetts, Connecticut, Maine. The natural feature that forms the Vermont New Hampshire border is named for what other state? What were the choices again? Massachusetts, Connecticut, Maine. The natural feature that forms the Vermont New Hampshire border. I I guessed at the Uh, last the last half. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. As soon as you said they were all softballs. (laughs) We got the hardball. Also, in this game, I got one extra life and I got one wrong, so I was able to go back into the game. Oh, which one did you get wrong? It was uh I think it was um who compiled the first modern thesaurus? Okay, so. yeah, that's a tough one. All right, all right. Are those okay. were the those were all the questions. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So right. let's go down and see how we scored on this quiz. We assume you have the answers as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. okay. First Number question was which is the real month of the year? The yeah. answer was August. August. C. Yes. Uh, can you do C A A B or C? Because I did A B or C. Why don't you refresh us what the question with yeah. the answers were, and then we'll all answer together what we wrote. Right. Okay. Uh, Septuary, Julember, August. C. August. August. Yeah. August. Okay. Yeah. So that one is correct. <laughs> All right, go ahead. He wrote down the letters and not the answers. Yeah. 
Because that's how the quiz worked. Oh. Oh. Okay. It's all right. It's fine. It's all right. A, B, or C, A, B, C. Okay. That's it's easy. Right. Question two. Pimento peppers are often found inside which of these things? Olives. B. Olives. Olives. Yeah. Olives. 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 Together. Good job. Yeah. Yes. Before acquiring a driver's license, new drivers typically need to get a what? A. Learner's permit. Learner's permit. Correct. What term refers to an all-purpose key that can open any lock? Skeleton, Skeleton key. key. C. Congratulations. What phrase completes Edwin Starr's classic rock Absolutely lyric? Absolutely nothing. Ooh. Absolutely B. nothing. Absolutely. Okay, some people are showing off by trying to answer before the question's completed. <laughs> okay, we goody, goody. through all the easy ones. We're uh, supposed to answer together. Jenna is just like, let's because get through it. I know it. that we all have the same answers for these. We don't know that for sure, Big Al. Al, are you out already? No, I'm not out. Do you have all five right so far? Uh, next Absolutely. one is where it okay. finally might start Absolutely getting... Absolutely nothing. Is this where we start guessing here? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Which Russia. author's name is not a pseudonym? Charles Dickens, Lewis Carroll, or George Orwell? I went with George Orwell. George Orwell. Orwell. I went with Orwell. Answer was Charles Dickens. Darn it. Dickens yeah. Charles Darn it. Dickens. Huh? Really? I'll be out then. Mm. Yeah. But you can all use your one life. Okay, okay I'm going to use my one life. All right. So, so far we got one wrong. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was a pseudonym. Yeah, I, I, I swear, Charles yeah. Dickens, I did too. But anyway, go ahead. Which of these temperatures is the warmest? Zero degrees Celsius, zero degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Kelvin. I went I Celsius. Celsius. I went with Fahrenheit. I went I Celsius. Kelvin. No, Celsius. Is, I don't know what Kelvin is. Well, zero <laughs> degrees Celsius it's is 33. thirty-three degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, Al. So zero so you, is warmer. You know what I'm saying? Celsius is warmer than Fahrenheit if it's zero. You know what okay. I mean? And it's zero degrees Kelvin is negative Because zero Celsius. Fahrenheit would be minus something. Minus 30, yeah. So zero degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. So it's oh. warmer. See what I'm saying? Than zero Fahrenheit. Zero Fahrenheit would, would be, be negative something. Negative. Cel Celsius, right? Yes. So, yes. so Fahrenheit's warmer. No. 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 Celsius zero is warmer. Zero degrees Fahrenheit is warmer. Is colder than yeah. zero degrees right. Celsius. Let me phrase it. Zero degrees Celsius is 32 degrees Fahrenheit. They want to know the warmest. What is, is Kelvin? I don't even know what Kelvin is. Yeah, I think that's like something that they do in like maybe okay. the other side of the world. Energy? No, yeah. it's like. No, it's like thermodynamics. Yeah. Well, what is the answer? What's the answer? The answer it's, is zero degrees Celsius. Okay. Celsius. Right. Okay, so we got that right. Yeah. So who's out? I'm out. Big Al's out yeah. for reals. Yeah. Big Al and Jenna. Now, Jenna, did you Jenna, say uh, Kelvin? She said Kelvin. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. Who, com who compiled what is considered the first modern thesaurus? I don't know. I said Roger. Okay. I want the B, whatever that was. Roger. Roger. Three degrees Kelvin is negative 273 degrees Celsius. They said the warmest. Which, so which, which, which of these temperatures is the warmest? The war yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I heard the question all wrong. Okay, Let's see. Good, so I'm did Al. You can still play, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everyone can still play. Um, and the answer was right. Peter Rogay. Rogay! Uh, Rogay. Happy yeah. Pride Month, Peter. I did Webster. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, the last three See, in a row. That was going to be too easy if Dictionary, it was Webster. Yeah. Peter Rogay yeah. formed, uh, put together the... the, the the thesaurus. That was a tongue twister. So, so far, we'd all be living because we all had extra lives like Justin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Which Nothing universities? Mm, well, Jenna's out. Jenna's out. Al's Al's out. out. I'm, I mean, yeah. Kelly and I are winning. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Which university's flagship campus is located in Philadelphia? <laughs> Penn State, Carnegie Mellon, or UPenn? I don't think it's Penn State because they're a little bit further out in the middle of nowhere. UPenn. Oh, okay. I went with UPenn. Oh. Correct. Uh, UPenn. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. I said Carnegie Mellon because I thought... JC, are question. you still in? I'm still in. You are oh. such a smart cookie. I am literally guessing. Oh, my God. These. That's what I did, too. Okay. What words are traditionally printed in large type and at the bottom of an Ouija board? Goodbye, light, dark, or listen well? I said listen, listen well. well. I said light, well. dark. Answer was goodbye. Um, goodbye? Right. Goodbye. Yes. My lover? Okay. Goodbye. I'm still getting an A, though. So say goodbye to your when you're... Uh, uh, now I'm just going for victory. the A. I just want to get an A on the quiz. Okay. Johnny Cash's only top 10 single on the Billboard Hot 100 was written by the author of what book? The Godfather, The Giving Tree, or The Right Stuff? The Giving Tree, B. The Right Stuff. I'm out. I but. wrote the right stuff. Because initially I was going to say The Godfather, then I changed it. Jenna? Oh, I said The Giving Tree. The Giving Tree yeah. was the answer, oh, people. Man, people. That, was, mm -hmm. that was the saddest book ever. I had to throw it away. No, that's why. It's Johnny Cash. The get, yeah, you told me it was I a very sad story. I couldn't read it. Mm. I, I tried reading it two or three times, and every time I'd weep, I had to throw it away. But what's the synopsis? The, the, a child abandons you. 
Oh, boy. A child leaves you? Yes, a child will abandon you. Uh, you give everything, and the child just leaves. It's kind of <laughs> like that one other thing that we can't... Don't want to talk about it. Don't want to spoil it for people. Don't want to talk about it, but yeah. a child takes and takes and takes. And as a parent, you give and give and give until there's nothing left. <gasps> Is it like... And then the child just leaves. Is it like the Pixar short? Awful. But sometimes Don't the parents end up taking the later in life. The Tree has got to be the worst book ever written next to the little Matchstick wow. Girl. The Matchstick Girl. That they, is even, that one may be worse. The one that they played right before The Little Mermaid, uh, where the little awful. girl dies of the cold because she won't, she because she can't sell the matches. Because her father oh. kicks her out in the cold and she has no shoes on. Because <laughs> he says, Don't come home when you sell your matches. <laughs> The little match girl. Yeah. It's horrible. That's a good one. I'm gonna buy she, these shoes. Then she goes to heaven where her grandmother's waiting for her. Oh, oh like Coco. It's awful. <laughs> that and the giving tree. She was right. banned. Last question. Last question. Uh, the natural feature that forms the Vermont New Hampshire border is named for what other state? Massachusetts, Maine. Connecticut, or Maine? I Maine. Maine. Connecticut. Connecticut. Answer is Connecticut. Oh, oh dang it. So I, mi- I got I one, three. two, three, four, I got nine five, out of six, twelve. Seven. I Someone's seven, calling me. I hello. Five. I miss two. What? Hello. Three. This one on the air. Three. They're not calling. Oh, oh sorry. Buddy. Oh well, that was. I got yeah. six. So, and that's why I don't play. But you did a really good job, no, though. I missed yeah. five out of twelve. You know, but you did a good job, and so did Jenna. I did. Yes, yeah. and all you guys all deserve a round of applause oh, because you guys are smart people, you know. Oh. And y'all didn't help the hand. Y'all didn't have the help of my aunt Jenny. Yeah. Right. No, we didn't. No. Well. Well, that was fun. That was. I'm going to get back on HQ Trivia now that I know they're so easy. Yes, they have a female host now. <laughs> oh. Yes. Well, so they got Scott? a guy. Yeah, Scott, he's, I think he's on vacation. Oh, okay. But then they have. He's alternating. Yeah. 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 Host too. And yeah. then she's like, she's got a uh, British accent. Okay. Yeah, I know her. She's cool. I like mm-hmm. her. So Scott will be back. So there you go. We could have, cool. we wouldn't have won yesterday, but Justin's aunt did. Anyways, join no, us. No, I did. Justin's aunt did. Justin. We did. Join us tomorrow. We got Beat the Bank speak, speaking of winning money. Okay. Twice a day, 7, 10, and 8, 10 Central. We'll hook you up with that password so you can play Beat the Bank. And uh, we also got Does That Make Me Crazy coming up. And we want to hear your good news for Good News t- Tuesday, Kid Nation. Yes, we do. That's my boy, Justin. Thank you, Justin, for quizzing us this morning. We'll You're see you welcome. tomorrow.